with um, the size of the T wave. And the, the, type, the T wave, if it's ever big, is should we should be looking for a couple of things, okay? So if it's ever big, there's two things we need to think about. Number one is hyperkalemia. Number two is hyperacute T waves. And these are an example of hyperacute T waves, okay? If they're super big, super big, these are hyperacute. Now, how do you know? Okay, um, you know because they're bigger than they should be. You have to look at the size of the baby in relationship to the dad. Okay, and the dad is super big versus the baby. And when that happens, when that happens, it's a pattern recognition thing. I'm gonna tell you that this EKG we're gonna bring back. I can also tell you that this patient right after this EKG was taken, went to the cath lab and ended up needing a stent in his LED, which feeds this area, which we'll talk about more. But in a nutshell, if your T waves are ever bigger than they should be, like they are here, they're almost as big as the dad, that's a warning sign, okay? Mm -hmm.